So this is where we're up to in the quarterfinals. Already plenty enough to get the juices flowing. All the eight sides still left here are perfectly entitled to think they have a good shot at this, Peter. It is quite an atmosphere here, and that's clearly raised the bar in terms of expectations from the crowd. They genuinely think, or certainly the feel is, that they'll get to see the game of the tournament. Haitara. Oh, strongly challenged there. Well time, excellent interception. Haitara. Genepo. Shot and the shot! That was no routine save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. They've played it short. What a letdown when you've got such presence and movement. Gradle. It's an inviting looking ball that. Now it's Sahar. Aurier. And he's in a really good position here now. Now there's a he's got the shot away! It's in! What about that, Jim Beglin? It isn't rocket science, is it? You know, when you're defending, you react to the danger, but of course, you must spot it in the first place, and they didn't, you know, they're not really looking up to take the runners, and it was a cheap goal to give away. Ivory Coast take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Oh, really cute, what a lovely series of passes. Well, from experience, I can tell you, he'll get a lot of stick for getting that one wrong. Can he stop it going out? Looking for the runner. Defenders on the back foot. Nicked it back promptly. Shoots to shoot! And the shot! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp.
Saha. Crossed into the box. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. He's having a go. That's a fine save. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Haitana. Strong running down that left flank. Haitara. Oh, he's had it nicked away from him. Well, he is the type of character who rises to this sort of challenge, and he will be back for more. Keeper's got it again. Yeah, Peter, just have a look at this and see how the strikers are, are drifting into wide positions now. And that's tactical, is it? It's not been forced on them. No, it's all related to the hope of creating space for midfield runners. He is, there's the shot! He's got away with one there. You lucky boy, you lucky, lucky boy. Giving the ball away like that is usually punished. Lovely ball into space. Oryek has set up one goal so far. Zaha is onto it in a flash. Now it's Gradle. Oh, it's a promising build up. There's plenty of really nice passing. And the whistle goes for half time. So there you have it. A close fought half of football, but what has still had its moments. It ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Ivory Coast, they're in at half time with a slender one goal lead. And we're already back on the way here. Ivory Coast going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit. But they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Kessier. And here's Gradle. Well, that was well positioned and, and well pinched. They can't hurt with their backs to go. Aurier. Ivory Coast looking to pass their way through. Bye. Oh, that's a key interception. Gets away from his opponents. Traore. Good spot, he's seen the run. Can he get away here? Could try cutting inside here. Great lead! Yes! They have pulled themselves right back into it. A lovely header, but really it was all about the delivery. Oh look, it's it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle. But that was beautifully met, it really was. complexion to the game well what a convincing response to going behind they've got all the momentum now real chance oh that is rather wayward well talking about a man on a mission that was a super effort Shifted upfield, 
Watson, nicely looking ball that. A well played, he's taken that really cleanly. Keeper's got good distance on that. Foot in, sends it forward. Marley needed that, they really needed it. Yeah, they, they showed a vulnerability until the move was stifled. That'll have stirred a little concern. And he has been fouled there. Well, the ref's been lenient here. Again, he'll get too many more chances. class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high class wage. Now it's Gradle. No, the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Gets it back. Oh, terrible pass. Aurier. Well, that tackle was certainly sturdy. An untidy challenge, free kick given, and he's going to have his name taken. <laughs> Ivory Coast can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Averted for now. Moved on forwards. A well cut out. No margin for error there at all. Kessier. And it's Sahar. Well, he's felt that, hasn't he? Pings it across. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Almost nothing left on the clock here. It does seem we're headed for extra time here, unless, of course, there is one last dramatic twist. Ivory Coast merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Been cut out, well played. Now it's Sahar. Oh, great Pepe! Oh, that's incredible! And that may just do it! Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think. It was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. to make their substitution it's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now well for me this was the obvious substitution he'd become just a little jaded and as a result of that he was most likely to make a mistake I think sometimes when the body becomes tired the brain goes with it and I think that's happened in this case Ivory Coast take what looks to be a decisive lead well the last moments now Peter are going to be very frantic there's still time for a, a twist or two yet it's a good ball and he could be in Ah, oh, this through ball looks good. 